नमस्ते मैं हूं शेफ पंकज और शेफ पंकज यूट्यूब चैनल में आपका स्वागत है सो so, आज आपको एक वन ऑफ द बेहतरीन लाइव प्रिपरेशन के लिए आए हैं ग्रीन फार्म जहां पे फिश फार्मिंग होता है फिश कैसे कल्टीवेट होते हैं वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स इनका बिलोंग करते हैं ये पूर्णिया का है तो ये फ्रेश वाटर कल्चर है ऑलमोस्ट नाइन टैंक है साढ़े चार लाख वाटर है सो so, ये सारे प्रिपरेशन में आपको दिखाऊंगा अपने साथ मेरे साथ फॉलो कीजिए आज ये मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ कि ये कैसे फार्मिंग कर रहे हैं एंड मैं अपने फ्रेंड से भी आपको इंट्रोड्यूस कराऊंगा ये देखिए आज के लिए जो फिश प्रिपरेशन है वो इस टाइम से जो बड़े बड़े फिश हैं उसको पकड़ेंगे और उसके बाद उसके लिए उसके साथ फिश प्रिपरेशन करेंगे आप देख सकते हैं कि जैसा ये मछली पकड़ा गया मेरे लिए और मछली लेके आ जाओ देखिए और ये फ्रेश मछली ये देखिए अब देख सकते हैं ये फिश को बस इसका कटिंग स्टार्ट हो गया और इसका ये टॉप फिंग्स देख सकते हैं कि फिश बिल्कुल क्लीन हो गया है अब ये फिश को हल्का सा स्लिट मारेंगे ताकि मैरिनेशन के टाइम में अंदर वो बिल्कुल मसाला चले जाए और इस तरह से ऐसा क्रॉस शीट ऐसा ये सबसे पहले लेमन जूस हो गया और ये काफ़ी एक, अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस है क्योंकि फार्म में फिश पकड़ के और फार्म में ही प्रिपरेशन चल रहा है और ये देखिए सॉल्ट जो है अगेन हाफ टी स्पून डाल रहे हैं टेस्ट के हिसाब से और ये है जिंजर गार्लिक ये बारबेक्यू फिश बना रहे हैं इंडियन स्टाइल में आप जैसे तंदूरी मसाला बनाते हैं सो ये आपका एक टू टी हो गया है और थोड़ा सा ये काश्मीरी चिल्ली पाउडर ले रहे हैं ये कलर भी बेहतरीन आएगा और इसमें थोड़ा सा टर्मरिक पाउडर ये है टर्मरिक पाउडर आप टी स्पून और ये है आपका धनिया पाउडर सो ये वन टी स्पून अब ये सारे मसाले को अच्छे से मिक्स करके ये फिश के साथ अच्छे से लपेट देंगे चारों तरफ इस तरह से और ये जो होल करने का स्लिट मारने का है सो अब इसमें मसालों का प्रिपरेशन अंदर जाएगा थोड़ा फ्लेवर्स के लिए हल्का सा लेमन क्रास डाल देंगे ये देखिए प्योर लेमन क्रास है लेमन क्रास का एक अच्छा फ्लेवर आएगा और इस तरह से लेमन क्रास को फाइन चॉप कर लेते हैं थोड़ा सा दही डाल के अब इस मसाले को अच्छे से इसके साथ मिक्स कर लेंगे और इस मैरिनेशन को थोड़ी देर के लिए छोड़ देंगे मैरिनेशन का मसाला अंदर डाल दीजिए और बारबेक्यू फिश के लिए थोड़ा पेमेंटो टेस्ट थोड़ा एक चिली टेस्ट देने के लिए आप जैसा देख सकते हैं कि मेरा बिल्कुल अब ये रेडी हो गया है और इसमें एक फिश को ऐसा ग्रिल करने के लिए ये डाल दे रहे हैं और इसके साथ थोड़ा पिमेंटोज बिख रहा है वो टेस्ट आएगा हेलो माय नेम इज लव ठाकुर आई एम फ्रॉम एथ ग्रेड माय फादर इज एन इंटीग्रेटेड फार्मर एंड ही हैज गिवन मी टू प्रोजेक्ट्स टू टॉक अबाउट 
I'll show you the, all the projects and I'll give you them a tour. In total, there are two projects. First, I'll show you the first project, which is the pilot project. And there's another project that is the, our future plans. First, I'll show you the current project. In total, we have, uh, uh, we have about 11 tanks. Each, will, uh, each has around 50,000 litre water. And in total, that means 450,000 litre water. And in each tank, there is one separate type of fish that eats grass. For example, grass carp. Now, when this water gets dirty every seven day or six or seven days every week, uh, we drain that water and we take it out. Uh, we take it out and we give the same water to azola, azola grass as well as super napier N5 grass. And the same grass we grow it, uh, then we harvest it and then we feed the same grass to these fishes. As you can see, here, uh, here is all the azola as well as super napier grow it and then we feed it towards the fish so it has be, be, basically become a cycle in this cycle what happens the fish water gets dirty we drain out the same water we give it to these plants the plants grow we harvest it and we feed the same plants back to the fishes so this is a cycle where we recycle water so the water is used uh, two times now this was a pilot project this was all done in one acre now i'll show you the future project that will be done in 10 acres. This is a future project. This will be done in about 10 acres, as I said. But it will do the work of 18 acres. How? I will explain. There are this first of all, this use uh, this will implement uh, uh, PM Kusum Yojana, which is a government project for small to medium farmers for two megawatt solar park. Now uh, and this uh, this second of all, this is double decker farming. That means this is this has two layers. First, explain the base layer. Now, the center, as you can see, there's a large water tank that contains 30 lakh liters of water, and it contains all these grass-eating fishes. Okay, and the same water when it gets dirty, we drain out to the separate bro uh, boxes which are which have green paper, and this symbolizes azola, as you can see there, azola. This azola uh, eventually it will grow, and then you'll harvest it and you'll put it back in uh, the uh, fishes so it will become a, a bigger cycle it will be done in all about in eight acres this is the first layer now above that we'll be using the same amount of land for solar panels to create two megawatts uh, solar, uh, solar power we need at least 6800 solar panels and this uh, that means about and we, have, we will be putting about uh, the panels which are 10 feet high uh, 10 feet high poles okay Plus, there will be 8 panels on each beams. These okay. beams will be 8, 10 foot high. That means there will be 850 beams all across this 8, eight foot area. Mm -hmm. That means there will be 2 layers. The first layer will be normal uh, agriculture. And the above will be your uh, solar park. This is what you call agrivoltics. Agrivoltics. Okay. Great. Now, this other, uh, now at the corners, as you can see, there is uh, multiple buildings. So, like basically, 8 acre land you need for your agrivoltics to yes. make it 2 megawatt solar park. Yes. There, you will be putting 850 beam with mm -hmm. 8 panels each. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, plus, this 2000 units because of the water cooling system, that is yes. 10,000. Plus another 2,000 for the movable technology. That means 12,000 units per day. We can Very increase good. it by 4,000 units a day. Okay. Now this is the main setup which is done in 8 acres. Now yeah. on the side, as you can see, this is the main area, accommodation for the mm. crew. And on the side, as you can see, there we have 6 different sheds for different types of animals. Here we can keep chicken, here we can keep goat, there we can keep uh, duck and there we can keep cow. Another benefit uh, is putting on the corner instead of the whole area is because if one shed is devastated by some sort of disease, the other cannot be affected because it will be very far. It will be affected eventually, but before that we can put measures, lockdown measures. Now, these leaves, these leaves are actually na super napier as you can see over there, the super napier. Now, this is the same super napier we have grown in this extra region. Now, the same super napier, when it grows, we we'll cut it and we'll feed the same plants. Super Napier has one speciality that when it when it is planted, it can be harvested for seven years. <laughs> okay. So you do not have to uh, you do not have to replant it. You can harvest it for seven years. So when we plant it, we can harvest it and we uh, give it back. 
the best of all thing is only the electricity will at least give you one crore. We can be sold for one crore, yes, per annum. Means uh, uh, only the solar panel. Okay. How? Plus, I mean, okay. Yeah, you calculated this. Yes. Plus the su subsidy from the government. Second of all, only the pay the payback period will only be for about two and a half years. For the entire investment. Yeah. Even though this investment is far larger than that. So basically, you mean to say? Yes. You are making a cycle here. Yes. Fish. Yes. The water once you are draining it out. Yes. You are using it to produce more azola. Yes. That azola you are feeding it back to your fish. Yes. Okay. So you have already done it here practically. Yes. This is a smaller version. This is a smaller version which is you have done it in one acre. Yes. These are the green nets and under yes. that uh, you know you have duck. Yes. You have uh, azola. You have fishes and this side as well. Yes. The tanks. By the reminder of that, the green nets. Yeah. The reason we need green nets is protection from the sun. The okay. main reason. Mm -hmm. Even over there, Azola has only one drawback. It need it. It needs a protection from the sun. That's why you use green nets over there. Okay. Another thing, uh, but one good thing about uh, Azola is when Azola grows, it has 29 percent more protein compared to other type of leaves. Okay. Now, as you can see, instead of green nets, as I previously said, solar panels. Solar panels will act as another artificial type of uh, artificial type of uh, what do you call? The protection on top. Yes, yes, artificial protection for the leaves as well as the water. And you don't have to change yearly, like every no, year you, you will change you your cover, you so don't. better you can do it in once. So it is better for the uh, lower right. area and also better for the upper area. So basically, it's a double decker farming, which yes. you can call it uh, agrivoltics. Agrivoltics. So down farming and as well as upper day, upper upper deck farming. Yes. Two deck. Very good. Thank you very much. Love. Thank you. I loved your preparation. I loved your this thing. Now for you, I made the fish. Please taste and find how it is. Amazing. So honestly, amazing. Honestly. So this is because of your fresh fish, love. Mm. And the feed what you are giving, mm. fish you are giving a grass. Mm. So that is the reason your fish is very very tender. Mm. And believe me. In my experience, I am telling you, fish is so tender, itna soft skin or itna soft fish hai na. So I really recommend one of my friend Janan. He has done the exclusively fantastic job. Ye jo farmhouse ko creative. You understand how creative is, how the farming tradition has changed, how the farming culture has changed, and you will enjoy the love of uh, fish farming. From the hotel management, he has come to the fish farming. And he is putting all international standard integrated work. So love, this is for you, a feast for you. Thank you.